The other thing about no fault divorce, it after, in the wake of no fault divorce, which was ushered in with the express intent of uh, advancing feminism for one, because it, it untethered women from the home, which which feminists say shackled them, it hamstrung them. So it was a way of ending quote male oppression. So it was very much desired by by those in the feminist movement. But in the wake of this, we have seen the most rotten fruit. Um, <coughs> the divorce rate, as Tim said, spiked. And it used to be that you would have to have a party who did something wrong, some grave sin against the marriage, whether it's abandonment of a spouse or a, adultery, infidelity. And then the, the courts would step in and they'd grudgingly um, award this divorce to... To the aggrieved party so that spouses would be divorced and then there would be punitive measures as far as alimony awards go against the person who was at fault for the divorce and this reflected in the legal system an acknowledgement and this is even in u.s supreme court dicta an acknowledgement that marriage is not just a regular contract you know and i've said this before on air is people tend to conflate what's in the law with, with, with what's in the civil law, with what's in the moral law. And this is a dangerous notion. But so our civil law used to reflect to a certain extent, not perfectly, but the sanctity of marriage. And it no longer is reflecting the sanctity of marriage because no fault divorce. You can just get a divorce on a whim. You don't, the reason it's so called no fault divorce is because neither of the spouses need to be at fault for a divorce. So you can just go to a court and petition for a divorce, say, you know, whatever, irreconcilable differences, and you basically have a right to leave your family. So you can get married one day, and then the next day be like, I don't want to be married. I'm going to break my vows till death do us part, because that's, that's the marriage vow, right? And then you can just cleave from your family, leave them high and dry. And um, that's the essence of no-fault divorce. So it makes sense that a lot of secularists, a lot of Hollywood stars are doing away with marriage. They're like, well, why would I want to take the risk of tethering myself who could leave me after one day? But these are the fruits of no-fault divorce. So it's a very evil institution because the civil law, Tim, should reflect the, the higher moral law from God. So no-fault divorce took the civil law and took it way farther away from that eternal moral law that marriage is for life. So that's never a good thing.